Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek V 3.1 has just been launched. There's not much detail about what the exact update is with this, but they have confirmed in their WeChat group that they have upgraded the DeepSeek V 3 model to V 3.1 just now. It has been upgraded in both the API as well as the chat. Previously, it only had a 64K context window in the chat but now it's been increased to 128K, which is pretty awesome for sure. I do see a tiny bit of improvement in some sectors, while even better improvements in others, and I'm still in the process of testing it. Testing it is a bit hard because it isn't yet updated in the API. I tried the DeepSeek chat endpoint, and it feels very similar to the 0528 version. So... It would be nice to see what the exact changes are in this, because I can't yet pinpoint the changes that I'm seeing with this. So, yeah, there's that. Another thing is that it is not yet updated in Hugging Face, which is pretty sad, but I think it will be updated pretty soon, as the upload will probably take a bit of time. Some people are saying that this might now be a hybrid model that is basically a merged version of V3 and R1, meaning that it now uses the same weights for both requests, but with a hybrid reasoning system, like GPT-OSS has, or like Quen used to have previously. It is being said because the R1 tag from DeepSeek's DeepThink feature has been removed, meaning that maybe they have merged both models into one. But that can't be said for sure as of now, because no one knows about that yet. You can use this model for yourself right now in DeepSeek's chat platform. Make sure that you create an account there, and then you can easily start to use it without any issues. Many people are saying that this is a hybrid model because, as you can see, the R1 tag from DeepThink is now removed. And if you ask which model it is, even after hitting DeepThink, then it says V3. Previously, it used to say that it's R1, which is an interesting observation, and we won't know until the open weights and change logs are out. The API endpoints for reasoning still exist, so it may be that they are working to make it like GPT-5, where you can use non-reasoning and reasoning from the same model endpoint rather than different model endpoints, which will be interesting to see. So, yeah, you can use it here, and it should also be updated in the API endpoint of DeepSeek, and you should be able to use it in every kind of setup. Look out for the exact changes that you can expect to see on their changelog soon. So, yeah, look out for that. If you want to use it as your AI coder, then you can do that quite easily. But before we do that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Augment Code. This isn't your average AI assistant. Augment Code is an enterprise-grade AI built for real engineering teams working in massive, fast-moving code bases, not toy apps or vibe coding. It's far superior than Windsurf and Cursor because of its proprietary context engine that delivers millisecond-relevant snippets even across 100k file monorepos, feeding your entire repo, even millions of lines, into the best model available in real time. You get smart, in context suggestions that make sense for your production code with Claude Sonnet 4 Plus Augment Context delivering the best quality at the same price. No model picker needed. Augment upgrades for you automatically. There's no need to switch editors. Augment works seamlessly in VS Code, JetBrains, Vim, and even Cursor. No forks, no compromises. It's secure by default and never trains on your code and supports customer-managed encryption keys. You're only billed for successful requests. That's paper message pricing, no seat licenses, or complicated token math. Augment recently launched powerful new features like remote agents, which let you launch, monitor, and merge pull requests from parallel cloud workers without draining your local CPU. If you're ready to code with AI that keeps up with you, sign up for a free 14-day trial at augmentcode.com link is in the description. Now, back to the video. To use it, you can do that by just heading over to the coder of your choice, like Kilo Code, where you can use the model for free with the $25 free limit and just use the model there quite easily without any issues, which is quite great nonetheless. 
You can just go to the settings and select the DeepSeek chat option and then just use that accordingly. It can route you to other providers who are still serving the old model because the weights are not out, but that should be fixed soon once the weights are released. It now has a 128K context window, which should help a lot in the coding stuff for sure, because that used to be a bit of an issue with the DeepSeek models. The 64K context window these days was a lot smaller. They are almost updating their models every two months, which makes sense at the pace things are moving, and they have been left behind by quite a bit. But now, we'll see what the exact changes are. I'll be testing a bit to see what the exact changes are and where it has improved in a new video. So, stay tuned for that. For the preliminary testing, I do think that the reasoning and stuff also seem a bit different. The V3 model is even more verbose now. Previously, it used to be verbose a bit, but now it's even more, which I don't know if I like or not. But there's that. The reasoning stuff also seems different, like now it claims to be V3 instead of R1, which previously never happened. So, yeah, that is something as well. I will look out for the change log and stuff and let you guys know as well. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and give this a try and let me know what changes you notice in the comments. It will be cool to see what you guys find in the changed aspects of it. I'll wait for the change log and then test it and report back my results pretty soon. The R10528 was recently launched before this. So, it might be that they have merged both the best up-to-date models, but there's no confirmation. Some people have reported that the physics understanding and stuff about it is much better than before, which is interesting to see. Some people claim that it is not much smarter, which aligns with what I am seeing as well, as it's inclined to think for a much shorter period or tokens, which is interesting. It might be that they have increased the performance of reasoning so that it can do better thinking in fewer tokens. Also, this is consistent with me noticing that all the chain of thought now starts with hmm, which is interesting to see because it might be some new reasoning thing or something. DeepSeek has merged their V2 and V2 coder models before into V2.5 and it seems that they might be doing the same thing again, but the details are still unclear. So, let's wait, and please let me know what you guys are thinking when you are testing it. It is interesting to guess when you know that the changelog will be here any moment. So, look out for that. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.